First off, tell me your name and a little bit about you. Uh, my name's Carson Ledford. I'm from Searchtown, Georgia, and uh, I race motocross. Uh, been doing it since I was about 10 years old, and uh, it's just a uh, love I have for riding a motorcycle. It's a lot of fun. So you said since you've been 10 years old. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 18 now. So you're 18, um, Polk County. You said you're homeschooled. Yes, um, sir. Um, what got you riding motorcycles at 10? Uh, I don't know. A lot of my friends had motorcycles, and uh, I just always loved watching it. So I just decided one day, you know, I would try and get my own, and uh, just started from there. But then the competition started. Um, was it just something that... <laughs> Your competition, something you heard about, what what got you in that first competition? Uh, I always watched it on TV, and uh, it looked like a lot of fun. And then uh, Calhoun actually was having a race, so we ended up just driving down there and uh, checked it out, and uh, just been racing ever since. What's the toughest part about racing? Probably the mental part's the toughest part, just getting through like all the stress and like riding every day. You're just so tired, and uh, just definitely the mental side's the hardest part. How much time do you put in this hobby? Or is it a hobby or is it a job for you? Uh, I'd say right now it's it's actually, it went from being just a fun weekend thing to like a full 9 to 5 job. Like we, I have to get up and work out and then uh, on the track from 10 to 3 every day and then we work out again and then uh, just starts all over every day. What are your aspirations? Definitely my future goals is just to try and uh, just get a good ride and uh, go pro here in the next few years. Obviously, you said pro. You've got a few sponsors on your shirt. That's just not a jersey of someone else, is it? <laughs> no, sir. Uh, we already, we're already we on the Team Green Kawasaki right now, and uh, they're helping out a lot. It's a big part in this sport. So this just isn't something you do locally. This is something you do on a national level, is it not? Yes, yeah, sir. We travel all over the country. You know, uh, We were in Florida a few weeks ago, then Texas last week, and uh, it just goes on from there. You know, you're just all over the country. And from what I understand, you're just not participating. You've won some pretty big events over the past few weeks. Uh, actually, Daytona a few weeks ago was my first ever ch ever championship, and uh, Freestone was my second. So, so you actually won the what championship was it at Daytona? Uh, Daytona was the Ricky Carmichael Amateur Supercross, and uh, Freestone was the uh, James Stewart Amateur Spring National. And obviously, Ricky Carmichael is a name that most folks recognize when it comes to dirt track racing. Um, how much of an honor was that for you? Uh, it was pretty big, you know, uh, just to get up there on the podium with him and uh, talk with him for a little bit and him congratulating me on it. And uh, it just, whole, the whole experience was great and it just meant a lot to me. How hard is it to make it to the professional level? Uh, it's pretty hard, I'd say. Like, it's just hard making it in the amateurs. So, uh, the pro scenes, it's definitely a whole nother story. For um, youngsters aspiring to be a dirt track racer, um, what would you tell them? What, what, what do they need to do? Uh, you know, you just gotta, first you gotta get on the right bike and get a Kawasaki and then, uh, just you gotta work hard and, uh, believe in what you want and, uh, just work hard all the way through and, uh, it, it can happen to anybody.